Hey, guitar friends, thank you so much for being here today. I really appreciate all of you guys so much. My name is Robbie Trujillo, and I'm here to help you become a better guitar player. I get so many requests to do a lesson on strumming and strumming techniques and how to improve strumming. So today I'm going to show you three ways that you can improve any strumming pattern. The chords we're going to be using for this lesson are D, G, and A. And for the purposes of this lesson, the strumming pattern I'm going to be using is just a simple down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up strumming pattern. But you can apply these techniques to any strumming pattern that you're using. So here's the simple down, up, down, up pattern. And the first thing that we can do to improve that pattern or any other pattern we're doing is instead of doing the first down strum as a full strum of all the strings, we can replace that down strum with just a picking of the bass note. So for the D chord, we would just pick the fourth string, which is open, instead of doing our first down strum, and then we would strum the rest of them normally. So when I speed that up, okay, you can see already that that sounds quite a bit more interesting than just our normal pattern. And when you're replacing these down strums, it's okay if you hit an extra string. So for the D, you may hit the fourth, and you may hit the third also. Or for the G, you may hit the sixth, you may also hit the fifth and the fourth in there. And that's okay. And for the A, you may hit the fifth string and the fourth string, or just the fifth string. But you can play around with those and just find different things that work for you. And the second thing that we can do to improve our strumming patterns is we can put more power, more accent into some of our strums. So in this case, what I'm going to want to do is accent every other down strum. So I'm just going to start with a normal strum or even a little bit softer strum for my first down strum. Then I'm going to go up and then when I come back down, I'm going to put more power into that second down strum. So that's going to sound like this. And you can see that that sounds a whole lot better than just our normal strumming. And with all of these techniques that I'm showing you, you can always incorporate all of them into the same strumming pattern and you can add them and take them out at any time. So I'll show you a little bit more about that here after I show you this next and my favorite technique to improve strumming. And just like we replaced some of the down strums with just a picking of the bass note, we can also replace some up strums with just a picking of the first string or the first and second strings while we're coming up. So here's what that would sound like for the D. And for the G chord. And here all I'm doing is replacing every other up strum with just picking of that first string or the first and second strings together. So 
So there's a lot you can do to just create some variation in even a simple down, up, down, up, down, up strumming pattern. You can make it more interesting, add character, and just do a lot of things to make your playing sound so much better. And we can incorporate all of those three techniques that I just showed you and do them all at the same time. So here's what that would sound like. Placing a first down strum with the bass note. I'm adding the accent on every other down strum and every other up strum is just getting a picking of the first or the second strings or both of those together. So here's that a little bit slower so you can catch all of that. So play around with those things. Don't be afraid to try new things and just experiment with how you're hitting the strings and how much power you're giving to them and to what strings you're hitting and just replacing down strums with just single notes up or down and just continue to improve your playing. Hopefully you found this lesson helpful, guys. Thank you. Mm -hmm.